hello friends today let us check how to use the extrude command in AutoCAD 2016 first we will open a new drawing new we will open a default ACAD drawing sheet we have to verify that we are using the 3D model workspace so that we can get the all the 3D tools, 3D drawing tools here. Otherwise, you will get a 2D drafting toolbar here. Now, we will create one extra viewport. For that, we will go to this Visualize tab. From the viewport configuration, we will choose two vertical viewports. From here, we will change this to Southwest Isometric. So that we can view all the X, Y and Z axis of the object. Here in the left side, we will use the top view. Here we can see only X and Y axis. The Z axis is towards the viewer, means towards us. That is not visible in the top view. So, for using the extrude command, we have to create an object, a closed object or open object with two end here i will use some circles as the closed object so here i will draw a circle of radius 10 unit sorry diameter 10 unit enter Now I will use the extrude command. For that go to this modeling tab. Click on the extrude command. Or you can use here this command from command line also. Here you can type extrude e x t r u d e enter now you can see here it will ask for the mode by default the mode is solid mode so here i will just choose the object and click enter now it will ask for the extrusion height here i will choose 20 unit of height now the object is extruded at a height height of 20 unit here in this isometric view we can change the visual style to shades of gray so that we can get a idea of the 3d shape now we will use the surface method for that i will create one another circle of same radius 10 unit ten unit diameter enter now I will click on the extrude button here it will ask for the mode I will click on the mode now it will ask solid or surface this time I will choose the surface now I have to select the object here I will choose this circle again, enter, we have to enter the extrusion height, here also I will choose the 20 unit as the extrusion height. Now in that isometric view we will see the difference. The first object is solid object. And the second one, we choose a surface. 
here we can use some path also for creating the extrusion of an object for that i will create one more circle here can unit enter now i have to create a path line here i will create one line towards the z axis for that i will change the ucs visualize ucs this will this one i will choose as x axis and this one y axis and the other one z axis now i will create one a line of 50 unit length here now i am going to extrude this circle through this path here after extruding this path will be the center of this circle that means center of the object for that i will choose the extrude command select the object enter right click choose the path now i can choose the path that i created before then it will create an extruded object in the dimension of the path line and the path line will be center of the object now i will extrude an object with open ends for that i will draw some shape here using polyline random object and here i will choose the extrude command and choose the object enter or right click enter and i will give the extrusion height of 30 unit enter now you can see here the object is extruded as a surface so thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and that will be very helpful for me thank you hello friends today let us check how to draw some 3d graphics 3d models in autocad 2016 here you know this is autocad 2d drafting and annotation we have to change this to 3d modeling for that you can switch from this option click here and change this to 3d modeling now this ribbon icon will be changed for 3d modeling you can see here x y and z axis is here and from this view this is top view you can see only x and y axis you can choose any of this model this is more convenient for uh, it's not too heavy it will not make system too much slow so i will choose this option shade of gray and here you can change the dimensions also by selecting this object if you want to change this length and width you can do this first i will return to this 2d wireframe and choose this one suppose i want to change the width from 5 to 10 i have two options i can click here this grip and i can add 5 this 5 enter so it will added 5 unit from the existing 5 unit in the shaded gray view it will be like this if you want to increase the size increase the height you can choose this grip and you can add 5 more unit so it will be 10 unit here 
and if you want to change the top radius now the top radius is zero if you want to add a three unit as the top radius it will be like this 